And Ellis, the, this president is uh, he's in full campaign mode. The Republicans keep adding uh, figures to the uh, to the fray. Uh, who is most appealing to you right now amongst them? Oh, I, no, that's a, is that one of these negative flip side <laughs> things. I mean, I say go Bachman, go, you know. <laughs> no, uh, to me, I mean, uh, from where I sit, you know, someone like John Huntsman scares me. But I don't Why? see how, well, because I think he has the ability to play to the middle. I think he has a, a, an answer to a genuine quest out there for an intelligent and a civil and a kind of a grown-up conversation. Mm -hmm. But God knows how he's going to make it through the Republican primaries. I think it's going to be a mighty tough few months for the man. I don't think Huntsman will. I think the Republican Party is largely, if not totally, dominated by ideologues. And uh, Mitt Romney is doing everything he can to move to the right. And we're going to see Michelle Bachman, probably Rick Perry, uh, perhaps others come in. And uh, it'll be a race to the right and then uh, a fight for the soul of America. Uh, friend, give us your thoughts on this field. Well, look, I, I love to hear uh, liberals and Democrats talk about how uh, they're so <laughs> afraid of John Huntsman. Uh, Look, Republicans are going to nominate some conservative, maybe not the most conservative, and that will be the strongest candidate for the party. A wishy-washy moderate uh, like John Huntsman, maybe, I've never met the man, just read about him, uh, is someone who can't unite the party and is bound to lose. Yeah, and, and it does appear that given that there is an ideologue uh, in, in, the, in the Oval Office, uh, the logical countervailing influence would be a conservative from the Republican Party. Now, do you think I'm going to sign on to the ideologue no, in the White I, House theory? I, I just was I'm curious to, to see no. how, how you would react. You see, I, I mean, to me... I, I mean, thought I, you'd be compliant in well, all no, of this. Well, I mean, well, I love to be compliant, but <laughs> at all times, that's the default position. But, but, but listen, I mean, I looked at the guy on Wednesday, night, and I agree with you, he didn't look so great, uh, the president I'm talking no. about. But, but the reason to me was that he was racing too much toward a moderate kind of self-contradictory position. Mm -hmm. I think it's a mistake to view him as, as some kind of staunch ideologue. Time and again, I, I think his problems come from not quite being maybe ideological enough.